Hey Sagittarius, hope everything is going fine with you. New Year's Eve is coming. We got this uh, king in his feelings. And they want to get in route for some passion, I think. They want. Or she wants, she's in her masculine energy. They ready to start getting things moving, but they're dealing with someone like this. <laughs> someone that do not have dominant feelings. I really feel like this person is getting on their nerves. But they could be going through things financially. Are they having a spiritual awakening? Both of them. Yes, you over there chilling like a villain. They can't come to you because you got your boundaries up. Are you dealing with addictions or you're dealing with people that want to come at you, but they don't have the right feelings for you or they don't have them? their money together to come towards you. You're not being very generous and you're not giving nobody shit. You don't need balance. Because you're over here feeling fulfilled. <laughs> like I said, you have people coming at you, this woman or man, that don't have their money together. But here go another message they want to give you. Someone selfish. They can't go to calmer waters. They can't get peace. That's why I feel like whoever they with is getting on their nerves. And then you have somebody that's like a, a slacker in life. To me, this is a slacker in life. Someone that really probably sell dope or someone that um, don't keep a job, have a high school job, or they don't take life serious when it comes to their money. Nothing is stopping them. But they can't get no peace because they have no heart and intellect with this nine source energy. See, like this woman has no heart and intellect. So you can have two people coming at you, or a few people that can't balance their feelings. One is moving according to their, like this person can't balance their feelings. You can have someone trying to come at you with their private part, and that's all they got to offer. You got a female that's talking shit that don't mean anything. That's why they're not making money, honey. They're getting left out in the cold. Your person could be coming in and out their life like they tried to do you. Yeah, and then you got somebody broke, and then you could have someone with no heart and intellect that they can't go to common waters, but... Nothing's stopping them. Nothing is stopping these people from doing better in their life. What needs to be resolved and set right in your life? That came in reverse when it comes to this person in their feelings. It's like this person that got used to ghosting this person or just not dealing with their problems with this person. It's like a comfort zone. Yeah. What situation in your life do you need? Do you hold value to? You don't hold value to this. You don't hold value to money, honey. That's why you got it. Remember, on money, it says in God we trust. So you believe in God, that's why you got money. Or you have abundance, you're happy, you're fulfilled. You probably done your part of giving to people that don't appreciate you and you're not just going to do it anymore. That's why you're dealing with your own things. So this person, these people are dealing with relationships with people they don't want to deal with. Including you, right? Going on with this broke ass king, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they dealing with a queen in reverse. This queen has no passion with that red or stability security. That's why they could be going broke.
It's like I said, they got comfortable arguing and fighting that they're not looking at things as in a different perspective. They're running from their problems. They probably come in and out this person's life. You have logic and clarity about these devil ass people coming towards you or these people in this ridiculous ass unnecessary relationship. We have 15 swords out here. Either a change that is already in motion or one that needs to be made. Yeah. When it comes to this person that's losing money. And then you got somebody over here that's used to arguing and fighting with their spouse. I, I almost got the um, 16 swords for this broke person. Signs, encouragement, and support. Yeah. See, they got this coming out. I put it back in the deck. But to me, this means this person see that they're not going nowhere. And it was a painful realization. That's why they have all these swords in reverse. Big no delivery, delivery and salvation in reverse. So I really feel like these people are comparing you to their spouse. That's why things are not getting done. What situation in your life do you need to be logical about? This person that's talking shit, like I told you, they're not logical. Oops, sorry, y'all. They're not logical. So how they going to run a business or have anything growing if they're not logical in their life? It's kind of like this person want money, but they don't want to work for it. Or they want your person to get the money, but they want to call them all day and get on their nerves or wonder where they going and what they're doing. What did I say? Yeah. So... Where, uh, are you ready to commit to someone or something you love? Yeah, this person not ready to commit to anything. That's why they're not sharing. They're not being generous when it comes to their money. That's why they can't balance their feelings with those cups. They want to be single. They want to move around. This person that can't go to Karma Waters. That's 12 cups out here, yin and yang. Enlightenment. Balance. That's what they want. What did I say? These people not getting shit over there. They're not getting anything. It's a big ass pinnacle they losing. They could be losing a home. They could be losing a car. They could be losing their job. You over there balance and looking for more stability and security, Sagittarius. You over there getting it. This person, nothing is stopping them from getting more money, but their spouse. And they're thinking this person that don't have money, they feel like they have some kind of hope in their life. They want to heal in order for you to realize their deepest dreams. That's what they want to do. Damn. Yep, they want to put their time and energy somewhere else. Yeah, they, this is the overall energy. They feeling burdened. Probably also by the people around them. Let's 
see what happened in the past for these people to feel like this. Some reason I went four down today instead of just three. Some was telling me it's a lot of people out here. They feeling trapped. This person that came down to their feelings, they feeling trapped. They unconcerned, right? And a lack of direction. They ready to let things go. They feel like they being sacrificed. <laughs> Which means they feel like they're doing all this shit for nothing. They feel like they're doing things for this female queen of swords in reverse. It's like they're doing things for someone and it's not going anywhere. They're putting money into this home. They're putting money into the looks of this queen. They're doing things for this person that do not appreciate it. They feel unappreciated. Well, what do you know? What Sagittarius is over there doing? What's going on with your past? You got a new job? <laughs> Are you doing better with your life? Getting good news? Someone you can count on. That's what you looking like. I told you these people are comparing you to their spouse or they're comparing their life to yours. You got some person that want to do better or they feel like with this pinnacle in reverse, they probably feel like they can do better if they got with you. Yes, recognition. They recognizing you. They're comparing you to this person. <laughs> yes, they ready to go. They came out twice. This person been ready to go. They being hostile with ambition. <laughs> they love a challenge. Yeah, you a challenge to this person. I feel like they are looking at things in a different perspective. Well, that other one came out the hangman, came out twice. Oh, well, let's move on. Yeah, but but they're stuck. So this person been ready to go. They've been looking at things from a different perspective on how this person, this queen is treating them. This king is treating them. In reverse, though. This king or queen in reverse. Talk a lot of shit and ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, they feel burdened. When it comes to that blue responsibility. I feel like with this person, they, they don't even feel bad. Because they're not logical. Like they okay with being broke. They okay with struggling. They okay with living check to check. They okay with it. To me, you was feeling bur burdened. This person took you for granted. For some of y'all. If you didn't feel burdened. These people took you for granted. To me, that's why all these mirrors are out here. Yeah, and this person was recognizing you, the one that don't have a lot of money going on, that wants to get their money up or do better. And I have a feeling I know who this is because they've been on my mind and it's crazy. I was going to tell you that you keep being a dope dealer or you can go get a damn job if you want to get with me. Yeah, resilience ongoing battle. This person that wants to make more money but they heart and intellect they don't have with their, their spouse. Goddamn Sagittarius, you breaking up relationships. 
just by being you. Honestly, I think that's what it is. These people see you go to work or you have ambition or you know how to be financially stable and you're happy because it's a lot of orange out here. And this is the past, right? So this, this queen is kind of like... Man, I've been there for you. I've been giving you this if it wasn't for me type of energy. But they not reviewing everything. It's kind of like you can do for people, but they don't have to feel obligated to you. They can feel, they can be appreciative of what you do for them. But nobody's obligated to you. It's your fault if you want to give to someone. And it's not your fault. You should... Your person's prop this person's probably that's feelings in reverse. They probably feel like um you know, like they realizing that this person was just doing for them to get with them or to trap them or to make them feel obligated to them. They wasn't doing it out the kindness of their heart. How you going to expect someone broke to give out the kindness of their heart? Like some people will do that. I don't believe in giving the straight off my back type of shit. That's, that doesn't make sense to me. You can't even put your kids before you. Because how are you going to be a good parent if you don't have, if you're not financially or mentally stable? You have to always put yourself first to take care of others. Cause and effect, life lesson. That's what these people are learning, right? About they love life, that they want to be generous to. They don't want to give no more. One person going broke, giving to a person that think that they deserve to sit on their ass with no stability, security, or they asking for things they can do for themselves. This other person is going through things with their feelings because they dealing with someone that's trying to act like they have heart and intellect. Like I did this for you. I did that for you. <laughs> I'm not going to let you see your kids or I'm going to take your kids from you. Or I'm going to stop paying your car. No, I'm going to stop doing this and that. They with somebody that's this person with their feelings in reverse. They with someone that's treating them like a kid. Indecisive, yes. This person that's going broke, they indecisive. Indecisive. Unwilling to learn from their karma. That's what the past was. That's why they're looking at probably you. In abundance. That's why they can't go to common water. So you got someone in their feelings that can't come to you. And someone that's broke that want to come to you. And they want to put their time and money somewhere else. This person has to give gas. They're manipulating. Yeah. But what, what they manipulating, huh? That they broke? That they have no new beginning when it comes to money? It's like, how you going to manipulate someone and you're getting, and your shit's coming from Section 8? How you going to manipulate someone and your wealth come probably from your parents? Like, how you going to manipulate someone when you didn't really work hard for what you have? Someone gave it to you. It's like this person think that they're more than what they are. It's like they forgot where they came from. Or who gave them they shit. How you going to say you gave somebody anything when you've been hustling people to give it to you? Yes, you over there feeling fulfilled. Wishes coming true. Realizing your dreams. High self-esteem. You getting awards. Satisfaction. Or this person that don't want to give their spouse money anymore. They feeling sad. And they feel like they're in unrequired love. And they feel like they're being blocked and they trying to repress their feelings. They're in the, uh, yeah. For 
for some of y'all, this is the same person. But I really feel for some of y'all, this could be two different people or a lot more people that's comparing their spouse to you. Or they feel like they'll do better if they get with you. Yeah, this person has a lack of ideas, failure. So they both being hostile. They still being hostile. Let's put it that way. Let's see what Spirit going to say. Who are these people? If you want to read them for me, look on the community board or in the description box. So this person feels trapped. They want to go to their true love. Okay, so that could be someone oh you were dealing with. The person that's in their feelings, that's why. Yeah, somebody want to get engaged to you. You have a love life ascending to a greater to a higher level of commitment. Let go of your control issues. Allow the situation to unfold. That's what this person needs to do when it comes to their money. If this not the same person, the other person needs to just let shit unfold. Let them fall on their asses. Move on. Move out. Let this person deal with their own problems when it comes to their finances. This person is like, this person that got money, they're losing themselves. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. Yeah, that's what this person that want to get in route want to do. Decide what they want to do. But they feel trapped in their mind because you put your boundaries up. So this person that's making money the wrong way or they don't take money serious. That's why they fucking it up on this person. And then you got this other person that you put your guard up to. Because you see that they can't control their feelings. They can't stay. They don't have a mind of their own. That's why they got put in this predicament in the first place. It's like this queen with just raveling money in their face or raveling shiny things. And like a kid, they went over there like it was candy. Yeah, they. these people want to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. I had a feeling he did. I was like, man, if you go stop selling dope and get a goddamn job, you. I can't do nothing with that. That's some karmic ass money, honey. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Yes. This is the person that's tired of giving their money and seeing it go down the drain or feel like they're not prospering in life, but they can with you. So you got two people that feel like if they give it to you, you're going to be a bonus in their life. Sound about right. Sound a bad rock. Hi night, hi night. New love. A new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. So let's see. This queen got a new love. Could even be the same sex. Or this king. But who knows? They're not being logical. They talking a lot of shit. Because they probably feel like they have someone else. They feel like this relationship has no value. The money is, has no value. Maybe they think that someone else is going to do it for them. They probably think someone else is going to put up with their shit. Separation. Life lesson they're going to have to learn. Nobody else is going to put up with their shit. Let's keep going with this one. You separating yourself. Give your relationship another chance. That came in reverse. Let's see what this person that wants to come to you that's tired of fucking off their money. Let your friends help you. That's what they want to do to get peace in their life. They indecisive about it, self-doubt. To me, they self-doubting about you because you're looking fulfilled. This 
person probably didn't even approach you in the right way. You might want to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk to them. Maybe they think that they can come at you like everybody else and they don't know that you are alien or that you're a star seed or that you have more value than that. People have to learn how to treat you and you have to teach them how to do it. Work waiting for it. That's what this person feel like that you're worth waiting for. The one that's in their feelings. The one that's broke. The one that's getting left out. It's like this person think you worth waiting for. I'm going to go to another card with this one. They feel like you worth waiting for because this other person's giving them a hard time. You're not a second motherfucking option. You're not even the first option. You're no option. Either you get down or you move around. Nobody has time for this petty shit. You could be building the castle by now. They over there building sand castles. Yeah, this person got passion for you. You're worth the wait. Allow your heart and soul to sing in joy. I feel like because this person has negative feelings, they can't solve their problems. You can't solve problems thinking negative. You can't solve problems being manipulative. What energy is this? That was an air fire sign. Yep, air, air. Air, fire, air sign, air, fire. They got new love in their life, so they acting a fucking fool, showing out. So who has this passion? Okay, the water, earth, energy has this passion. Water, earth, pinnacles, earth, water, earth. And then we have over here water earth. That's why this could be the same person. Like, uh, or this could be a Taurus, Pisces, Airy, Aquarius, I mean, for some of y'all. Or another Sagittarius, uh, you know. Because um, this King of Cups is a water sign for sure. Cups. And the Libra is in reverse. That's relationships. They have no balance. They marriage is in reverse. You're not flirting. You're not playing around either. You taking care of business. With your family. I feel like you balanced, but you have people want to be in a relationship with you. Because that's what they see about you, boo. This phone not showing me the timer. Uh huh. This person that's going broke, they need to learn how to forgive and learn. So this could be the same person for some of y'all. This could be two different people or more than that for some of y'all. Somebody want to come at you with passion. Somebody in their feelings about you. And somebody see that they'll be better off with you because they going broke dealing with their spouse or whoever they giving their money to. Yeah. Your person is dealing with the narcissist. Or this person that's in their feelings, they're dealing with the narcissist. So they exchanging feelings. Or this person could be, they going through a breakup. See, they come in and out part of this person's life. Uh, this person could be acting narcissistic, which means they have their protection mechanism up. They feel like they have to protect themselves. They feel like they have to... See, this is another thing. Never, never explain yourself to a motherfucker that's 
dedicated into putting you down. Your person probably over there explaining themselves to someone that's dedicated into not having understanding. <laughs> that's a fucking headache. You got someone not emotionally or not living at a distance from you, but it could be two people. For some of y'all. Yeah, this person thinking about intimacy. This person with all this heart and intellect, but it's in reverse because of who they dealing with. Because I did see this guy. He has been acting right since he's been in a relationship. And I know he got a girl. So maybe he's single now. Because he's been coming at me. It's funny. We even ain't gotten to it. And we know about that love-hate relationship. So we know he probably just, he was being rude, but he probably just doing it because he liked me. Which I already knew that. Because after I told him I didn't like him, he started being nice. They think about manifesting our pregnancy. Ooh, that make a lot of sense. For some of y'all, y'all stop doing drugs and doing things, and you probably related or said something to this person about why you're not drinking or uh, smoking anymore because you want to get pregnant. <laughs> or maybe you want to manifest better. Yeah. This person needs to find out more and stop overworking themselves. That's why they're in their feelings. So sometimes when you don't post or when you do post and you post you happy, you probably putting this person they feelings when they don't hear from you. Whether you with them or not. Or this is a past love or not. Or they're showing up comparing people. In divine time, let things flow when it comes to these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That's crazy. <laughs> that was confirmation right there for me. With that pregnancy. Okay, somebody want to travel towards you and express their love. And this has been an ongoing situation since before. They probably do have it going on in their life or they look at you as a star. But they was being selfish and probably rude to you. Or just selfish and rude because they're uh, over there with energy probably vampire or someone that's pissing them off. <laughs> something's beginning, something's about to end over there with this queen because they found new love. So they probably giving your person a hard time because they got somebody else or they fitting they fucking self. But we already know if you've been keeping up with me that that other person not going to deal with them either. Because they probably manipulative. Yeah, communication issues, review everything. When it says give your relationship a chance, you put it in reverse. Cause and effect, whatever went on. These people not ready to commit to the people they're in a relationship with. They don't even want to give them anything. Now was not the right time trying to come out. Let your friends help you. Yeah, this narcissist came out again. These men are acting narcissistic when it comes to their money and their feelings. They being protective of it. Don't mean they're narcissists. Everybody is narcissistic. Just some people know when to use it. Some people don't or they overdo it. And then we have the real narcissist, right? Earth, water, energy. Trying to be creative. That's what they've been doing or been manipulative in the past. Now they want to shed the old and let go of people. They have passion for you. They want to leave these people out in the cold because they're not getting shit out of it. Not getting anything. Because I don't want this time to go out on me. Yeah, by your water sign. You're not flirting. You fulfilled. 
Not fire water, fire air, sorry. Fire sign feeling fulfilled like a motherfucker with that 20. What's 20? Balance in mind, body, and soul. With these 20 cups. You was feeling it in the past and you still feeling it. Ten, ten, new beginning, reminding that you are the creator of your fucking destiny. That's what you've been feeling. You goddamn right. Oh, you goddamn right. I'm so excited. I had a reader. She hits me up, which I look at her as a sister. And uh, she did kind of put some, uh, make me wake up to some things. And I can't wait to tell her what I'm going to do. Yeah, guardian angel is watching over this person that's going through financial problems or whoever this person is that can't balance their feelings. Yeah, everybody's using their intuition. You and these other two people are this other person that you were dealing with. Because I do feel like it is two people for some of y'all and it's one for some of y'all. That's how I feel. I think that's why I put out four... Went down four slots today instead of just three. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's roast them real quick. Ooh, wee, that popped out. Yeah, all the secrets are out. That's why they're going through a breakup. They don't know shit about the economy. That's probably why, too, they're going through their and their feelings about you. They want to come towards you, but this person know that you know they bisexual. They know that you know that they left you from a bitch that was not better than you or some stanky booty ass man. Yeah, you know the red flags. You don't have any red flags. This person's doing a good job. Or they see you are fulfilled. They want to know how they can do it too. But probably with you. That's why I don't know if this manifests for some of y'all or getting pregnant. Yeah, they don't want you to go away. But you probably got in tune with them or y'all had some words or they felt a certain way about you before and now they don't. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Your person being triggered. They have childhood issues. That's why they in their feelings. They letting the nothing ass person they was in the relationship that they left you for trigger them. <laughs> Man, please. Yes, these person, people dress apart, but they have no character and morals. And I feel like with this divine time, that's what they were saying about you. And they see now that ain't true. That's why they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Yes, this person really like your energy. Oh, they have some good energy. That's why their heart and intellect is in reverse. They got a bunch of people around them that want their energy, want their money, want to be like them. Yeah, this karmic is not shallow. Or they said you were shallow. That's why shit is coming to an end in their fucking life. Yeah, they want new love. Ain't nobody going to put up with this. Bitch, that's not logical. They have no clarity. So this person is probably bitching and complaining because you're not shallow. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you didn't tell this second person or this whoever not to get away from you. And you know this other person's secrets. That's why they're triggered. You have morals and cares, but you see they don't. Yeah, this person wants your energy. This person that wants to get their heart and intellect together, all their money, honey. Maybe you could teach them they got to have heart to keep it going, right? Let's keep going. I don't want to run out of time. Billionaire came in reverse with this love that this water earth energy is in. With this fire air. Yeah, they've been procasting the wrong shit. <laughs> they ain't karma. They think because they not physically hurting you, they can mentally talk about you. Ain't gonna happen. That's the same shit you catch karma. You catch karma just trying to copy somebody. Yeah, this person said second and third guessing about you. Proud community, what the fuck is up? 
This person know that they're not no threat to you. This water earth sign know that whoever they dealing with that's trying to be creative with that water earth, whatever fire air sign other than you, they're not no threat to you. This person probably can't get no sleep or they to chill the fuck out. Don't snap that back. You know, these people are jealous of you. These people, girlfriends, are jealous of you. <laughs> All these people, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this person don't want to love and gaslight you. This person that's going through financial issues. They probably do want to get a job, or they probably want a better job. Or they probably will do better if they get with you. They feel like you're probably worth it, because I was channeling that. Yeah, your person around energy vampires, and that's why their secrets are all out. They probably getting made fun of. Or this person is constantly reminding them that you're not trauma bonded with no motherfucking body. Yeah, this person is going through a conspiracy. People talking about them, the one that's having financial problems with this woman or man. And they don't even have all the information about them. And that could be you too. You probably were judging this person without all the information. Okay. So I hope that helped you today. I pulled out all the cards for you. And I hope you have a good night, boo.